Hi, hi, how are y'all doing? I told y'all today I would be doing um, the Dollar Tree haul meal that I had um, gotten from the Dollar Tree. Um, the three ingredients that I did get from the Dollar Tree were, um, here I'll flip my camera around if possible. I just can't. Okay, so I got the um, chicken broth from the Dollar Tree and it is a full 32 ounces. I got these wonderful gnocchis, and I got a pick sweet spinach that um, I did not show you in my Dollar Tree because it was in the freezer, but it is a, let's see if I can find, it has three and a half servings and it's a cup per serving, so there's about three and a half cups of spinach in there. So that's a pretty good value. Um, spinach is an expensive product in the grocery stores. So I'm going to do a spinach chicken yoki soup for dinner tonight for me and my roommate. Um, I have a difficulty cooking for one person. Two people is a little bit easier. I will still probably have leftovers. Um, the three ingredients that I got from the Dollar Tree obviously were three dollars. So I will be using the broth the gnocchi and the spinach. I also have um, some, because I cook a lot, I have some organic thyme that was left from another meal and some organic dill. I do tend to have herbs in my fridge all the time. I also, um, turn it around here so you can see the pot, I have started um, a little bit of garlic, the herbs, potatoes, and onions on a simmer to just kind of break those down a little bit. And then once they have broke down a little bit, I will add the chicken stock. And um, I have some wonderful organic ch carrot chips. Now I like these because obviously I have braces. And <laughs> biting into carrots and stuff can be difficult. You can knock your brackets off. Um, these are like little kind of ridge chip carrots. And I'm going to throw those in um, probably close to the end of cooking. So that we can um, get them cooked but not mushy. I want mine to have still like, it still tastes like a kind of a raw carrot. Um, other than that, we are going to get started cooking. So like I said, I've already put um, kind of the onions and potatoes, the items that are going to take more time to cook into the pot, and I've got them in there with a little bit of olive oil, garlic, and there is no salt and pepper at this point. Um, the stock itself does have sodium, so I do not want to over um, do the salt content. Um, my roommate is salt sensitive. And, um, and it's just a good idea not to cook with a whole lot of it. Um, it's good for your health. It's good for your body. It's good for your heart. Um, so, I've already got all that chopped up. So I'm going to put it on pause here. And when I get to the next stage of adding broth and um, adding the chicken. Oh, I also have some leftover chicken from another meal this week. So um, that's a no, another no-cost item. The potatoes, the herbs, the onions are all items that I keep in the fridge. The regular um, refrigerator staples, but if I had to put a cost on them, um, I use two red potatoes. So we're talking maybe a buck or two. I used one small yellow onion, and I used two sprigs of tarragon and a small sprig of dill. So pennies. It's just literally pennies. Um, a splash of olive oil to make sure this everything doesn't stick to my pan and a spoon of minced garlic and we're well on our way to a nice um, chicken gnocchi soup tonight. So I'm going to pause it out and wait for this stuff to cook down a little bit and I'll come back to you. Okay I am back. I wanted to get to this before the potato starches started sticking um, the 
before the potato starch has started sticking the um, small diced potatoes that I put in there to the bottom of the pan. Um, even with olive oil, starches of potato will tend to stick on the bottom. And um, I put a little bit of potato in this recipe this time. Normally I don't put um, potato in this one, but my roommate is a guy and I make it just a little bit creamier and a little bit heavier or heartier that way by adding a little bit more potato for it him, for him. Um, let me bring you over here. I've got my leftover roasted chicken um, and I've just taken it let's see if I can get it in the shot there. Um, it's I actually saved it a couple nights ago from the dinner that we had. Um, and I pulled it off. It's probably roughly about a cup and a half, two cups of chicken, and I diced it up. Um, it was a really nice chicken roasted with some rosemary and garlic. Um, so it should lend to some of the flavor. And I'm going to take the chicken broth, and I'm going to pour it in now to kind of cool the bottom of the pan down. I don't know if you can see that. Just gonna pour in maybe a cup or so and move around some of those bits and pieces from the bottom of the pan. And let's see if you can see this without the steam filling up the screen. It looks so pretty. Um, it's really a light soup. The pieces of potato will break down and will actually make the soup more of a cream soup without adding a whole lot of like heavy cream or any um, kind of milk products. I may finish this off with a little bit of fat-free milk just to um, give it that more cream appearance. Um, but the potatoes do a really good job of, of turning it more to a, a creamy consistency. And I'm not going to blend it or anything. I'm going to leave them um, diced in there kind of like a chowder. Um, but I want to make sure that there is enough substance to this dinner for it to be considered a dinner by man. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of it in there. And this is 32 ounces of chicken stock. And it is a nice um, brand that states no GMOs and that it's gluten free which we all know that chicken is gluten free but the products that they put into chicken and other chicken products um, for preservation and stuff could have gluten in them so we're just going to put the chicken in with those starter vegetables and I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water um, only because I want this to have a nice amount of liquid because I'm going to let it simmer for about maybe about it really doesn't need to cook more than 30 minutes I'm gonna let it simmer for about an hour um, I've got probably an hour and a half before my roommate gets home so I want it to have time to really develop the flavors from the um, vegetables so the the celery and the the onion and everything kind of get into that chicken broth because even though store-bought chicken broth allegedly has vegetables in it. We don't know exactly the process of it. Then I'm going to take like a handful of these carrot chips and I just love the size that they are already. I think they're real like kind of hearty and they'll break down a little bit and become softer and you'll be able to cut them with a spoon um, but they'll be able to maintain that um, carrot, like fresh carrot taste. I'm going to do another small handful of those in there. Um, you can get real creative with this. It can kind of morph into like a chicken pot pie. If you wanted to go that route with the um, vegetables, you could leave out the potatoes. Um, you could um, add peas. You can kind of, whatever's in your kitchen really goes with chicken and yogi. I mean, you can't go wrong. Um... And then at the end, when I finish it off, I will be adding the spinach. The gnocchi I will cook separately because I don't want it to overcook and become soggy. So I'll end up cooking it um, separately. About two to three minutes um, is usually all it takes to boil up in a pre-boiling pot. Um, and I will post some pictures of our completed project. 
Um, I would say all together, um, carrots, again, my organic carrot chips were left over from another meal. Celery um, was left over from another meal. Organic herbs and spices, all left over from another meal. So if you think about the cost when you're breaking it down and using them in uh, multiple meal settings, your cost is just so low. So the actual purchased items cost me three bucks. And the rest of the stuff that I put in there maybe cost another three dollars. So we're talking about feeding two grown adults a really hearty, yummy fall soup um, with lots of great organic vegetables for under ten dollars. And you can't go anywhere and do that. And I might even get the little girl to do this tonight. <laughs> she might actually even like this. So we will see. Um, I will post pictures after we are done um, making everything tonight. I'll post some beautiful pictures of the completed soup with the spinach and the gnocchis. So y'all have a great day. I hope this was helpful. And uh, really, there's nothing left to cook today except for a little summertime and um, boiling gnocchi-like pasta, which I, th I think all of us is pretty familiar with and uh, adding the spinach at the end so that it can have time to um, come to the same temperature as the soup. So I'll post pictures in my feed and I hope you enjoyed this. Three dollars at the dollar store, three dollars maybe at the grocery store, under ten bucks. Hope you like it.